Mayor Diane Watts, our guest, she is the mayor of Surrey and Surrey Wally, and Wally will soon be bigger, revitalized, or is in the process of being revitalized? Well, we've got five town centers and then our our, our city center core. Right. So uh, Wally is, is a small piece of that, and uh, it is the whole entire core of, uh, of the city center that is being revitalized. But also, too, we're looking at each of the town centers. We want to make sure that they are you know, vibrant mm -hmm. and pedestrian friendly, all of those good things. But right now, we're, we're building the downtown core. Yeah. But Wally was the area. Area, in the where area, you had absolutely. more problems. You had to look at it True. a little more closely. Yes, absolutely, spiff it up a bit. Yeah, <laughs> I know. As the mayor, you can't say it wasn't so spiffed, but you know what I mean. There were some new ideas, oh, some challenges, challenges some. Some Absolutely. crime, more yes. crime. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and you know what? That was uh, that was an area where there were certainly challenges. And I think if you if you leave it alone to to foster and not pay attention to it, then you're really going to have significant problems. And I think as any city, as you grow, you have areas that are um, less less. Um, less than desirable than other areas within a city but if you pay attention to that and you you do some work in there right. and do some redevelopment and change the demographic uh, then you make the changes and revitalize the area uh, headline read yesterday Surrey looks to light rail to ease huge growth SkyTrain is too expensive Mary Diane Watts says I said that yes <laughs> yes <laughs> apparently you did <laughs> so what what do you mean too expensive uh, are you looking at light rail yes What's well the there's, plan? A, there's a couple of things here I think it depends. It has to be goal-based. So if your goal is to move people from one from A to point B very quickly, SkyTrain, absolutely the answer. So downtown Surrey to downtown Vancouver, very quickly SkyTrain works. Mm -hmm. But if you want to look at shaping the community, look at economic development, look at um, just that pedestrian mobility and busyness on the street. Mm -hmm. Green you don't, space, and green all space, of that. All of that, you don't want it elevated. You want it at grade. So we that's what we want. We don't want SkyTrain cutting through every community in, in the city of Surrey. So we want at grade rail. And I think it's really important to have, to use uh, it, it, from, from a goal-based perspective, whether you use streetcar, whether you use at grade rail, whether you use SkyTrain, you, you should have something that's multimodal. I think there's a lot of major cities that have all types of transportation mm -hmm. and then the transit system filling into each of those. Sure, but it's important to look at, at the aesthetic too. Yes, yes, you have to be practical, but uh, the city fathers of the day who did not put a, a freeway through Vancouver were very smart. Yes, yes. They put it through Surrey instead. Exactly. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we knew we didn't want it here. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Go yeah. ahead. So, but, so uh, you know, I think it's it's really important when you look at how you how you shape a city that you look at all all points of transportation and and what that looks like for sure. And twinning the port man. And twinning the port man. Rolling yes. right along. Yes, it is. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. Homelessness, uh, mm -hmm. a problem in Surrey. Uh, new ideas about helping the homeless in Surrey? What? Well, we've approached it uh, very differently. We have, uh, from the get-go, had a very aggressive outreach program because I think if you sit back and wait for homeless people to say, okay, can I have some help and I need to, to you know, access this resource, mm. it'll never happen. So ha developing those relationships and making sure that we're um, helping the people that need the help. So we've housed about, three. well, it was 356 uh, homeless individuals individuals into permanent housing with services uh, within 18 months. And so, that again, that's significant, but you, you want to make sure that they're in permanent housing, right. not just warehousing them in shelters. And on your list of priorities in the mayor's office, on your list of dreams, yes. what's there? Well, my, you know, my list of dreams is really to ensure that our city uh, is is as vibrant and as unique as it as it could be. We're we're a city of families. A third of our population is under the age of 19, and we want to make sure that we've got good education. We've got schools. We've got post secondary education, and we want to keep those kids at home because this is the next generation coming up, and we don't want them leaving the city mm -hmm. to go elsewhere for education or jobs. Right, and when uh, they retire. Uh, good senior centers in Surrey, yes, that's absolutely. topped up? Yes, absolutely. 
absolutely. We've got uh, senior centres in every single town centre. We're building a new senior centre in the downtown core. And, and again, it's, you know, and, and also too, just having the synergy with, the, with a lot of the young, uh, young families and young kids with the seniors. So we program uh, both at the same time. Right. And there's a lot of, t a lot of times, you know, seniors, they, their, their families are elsewhere. And it's nice to be around mm -hmm. little children. Well, so. as you know, as you look at trends in cities today, it's a live, work, play area. Yes. Many people are trying to take the commute out of their life. Yes. Now that we can uh, work at home uh, in our little electronic car, uh, the commute is a pain, as it you is. know. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's why we want to make sure that we have the infrastructure in place, but also, too, have the, have the facilities where people want to stay and live and work within the city mm -hmm. of Surrey. Uh, Olympic uh, legacy in Surrey, Olympic fallout to Surrey, some benefits from the Olympics? Oh, we had some extraordinary benefits from the from the Olympics. Uh, our, our volunteer training center, we turned that into uh, into a community center mm -hmm. and thus the new senior center addition uh, within our city center. Uh, the Olympic Village up in Whistler, we, we took some of the buildings and had an affordable housing complex uh, built as well. And also to our celebration site, we just won actually in Canada for the, for the, best, uh, the best event site uh, in Canada. How great. Year, yeah. uh, Vancouver Biennale, do you have some of the public art out there? We have we have public art absolutely. Oh, I we'll shouldn't be, say out there. Out there, <laughs> I mean in Surrey. Absolutely, and you know arts and culture again were were really a top priority. Mm. We were cultural capital of Canada in 2008, and we want to keep that uh, trend going as sure. well. Sure, it's all part of it. And real estate prices uh, soaring up or. About well, like the rest. Well, because you know what, we've got so much land, so we're still in the range of affordability. Mind mm. you, there's some areas, you know, overlooking the ocean and the bluff and stuff like that. Of course, there are you know, multi millions of dollars. Right. But uh, but also there's there's affordability mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And you give back a lot. Uh, to, I try to charities. Yeah. You do. I because, do. I know that because I was in a fashion show with you, you uh, a motley crew of us. Yes. None of us models. <laughs> no. But the firefighters were cute. They were cute. Yes. Weren't they? They were. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, a, it was a great cause. It was. Uh, um, uh, Melena Groshin uh, did the clothes, and we raised money for over. Oh, there's me getting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there you Look are. Look at where did he get those pictures? And I'm st I was standing right behind you in that one. I know. And there's my firefighter. Yes. There we are. And there we are. Yeah, there we are. Misbehaving. Yes. <laughs> but giving back. They raised but a lot back. of money for ovarian cancer they that did night. They did that so night. Great. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. But those Burke's earrings, hard to take off. Hard to take off. And, and the necklaces. No, I think yours was like 32000 or was, something. It was. But beautiful. Oh, Burke's yes. has just exquisite no, diamonds and kidding. jewelry. I know. But we yeah. didn't walk out with we anything. No, we, no, we, we were very good. It. We did. How nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Mayor Diane Watts of Surrey.